Okay, uh, Sergeant. Senior Airman Garrett. Sar Sergeant Senior Airman. Senior Airman Garrett. Oh, you want me to say Sergeant? Senior Airman Garrett. Senior, senior, senior Airman, senior Airman Garrett. Yeah. Can you get a quick introduction of, of who you are and, and what uh, exactly you do in the Air Force? Yeah. So, uh, Senior Airman Garrett. Uh, I'm from Bay City, Michigan. I've been in for six years. I am a Special Operator Combat Controller. So my job is air-to-ground inter integration, uh, close air support. Uh, it's infill, exfill. Um, shooter, jumper, yeah. combat diver, all-terrain vehicle, um, you name it, jack of all trades, master of none. Yeah. So you actually have an interesting story because, like I was talking before, you have a sports background um, before joining the, the service. Can you talk to us about that a little bit? Yep. Yeah. So uh, I spent a few years in the minor league system, um, and that's something that I've been training for my whole life. Mm -hmm. uh, on camera at seven years old. <laughs> Or I wanted to either play professional baseball or I wanted to join the military like my uncle. And uh, I played baseball for a few years. I was selected. I was drafted. Um, a lot of hard work. And it's something that I thought I was going to be doing for a long time. Um, things didn't work out. It didn't pan out. I got cut, released, and mm. then I joined the civilian world. Um, we, we talked about adversity in the, in the morning. Yes, sir. I had no idea what, what I was going to do with my life. And I bounced from like job to job. What was I going to do? Look at the military. No matter what I kept doing, I kept having a positive mental attitude, things needed to get better. Always kind of chasing something better. And the military came calling. Um, I was going to join the military, I was going to do something hard. And mm. then I saw a combat controller, and that's what I selected. How was the transition of like to, you know, just loving that sport and then, I guess, hearing a call that, like, hey, we don't, we're done, we're really here. How was the transition uh, over? It obviously, you're devastated at first. Yeah. Um, but there's always light at the end of the tunnel as well. Mm. Uh, I had to kind of figure out what I was going to do so I could um, wallow my own pity and give up, which I was raised by a single mother and I'm the only child. There's mm. no way in hell that was going to happen. She didn't, uh, she didn't bring me up like that. Um, so I always promised myself if I was on a bigger stage, like professional sports, um, that I wasn't going to mess it up again. And then getting back into the military is a, is a big stage, yeah. it's American stage. And, uh, I kind of got back up on the horse and took off. Yeah, and you know, because did you have, you said you had people in, in your family that was already in the service? Yeah, my uncle. Yeah, your uncle? Absolutely. Did he kind of like... And he was my uncle growing up, so... Oh, okay, I was about to say, so like there he... There was no giving up. Exactly, so like, so he, he kind of like pushed you in his way, or like it was all yeah. you, kind of? Well, he'd always try to get me in uniform, but I always, was playing okay. sports. And then uh, when I started working in the civilian world, um, I wasn't interested at the time, um, but then it got to a point where I came, became a personal trainer and I got tired of motivating people. Mm. So I wanted to be around people who were as motivated as I was. Absolutely. That's funny. You say you got tired of motivating people though? Yeah. Do you, do you motivate people here? Like Absolutely. kind of, yeah, cause well, you kind of. Uh, yeah, I mean, our special tactics team, we motivate ourselves. So okay. I'm the youngest guy to the older guy. I'm, I'm 38, mm. I'm an older guy. I'm not supposed to be moving the way I should. And uh, you know, you have days where you're motivating others and you have other days where they're motivating you. Um, but going back to the bigger pictures that we're all one team. So yeah. Everybody's pulling on the rope in the same direction. Hmm. Um, and, and do you have a family? I do. Absolutely. And then so. Absolutely. I have a family. How many? Uh... I have three girls at home. <laughs> oh yeah. Yes. And, and a female dog and a female cat. Wait. I have all girls at home. A female dog and a female cat? Yeah. And three children at home. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry. <laughs> how uh, how often do you get to see them though? Uh, Doing your job that you do. Uh, it it depends. It depends yeah. on what the training cycle is like. It depends on what the operational world is like. Um, it's it is taxing on the families. I'm about to say, yeah. It is taxing on families. Um, you are away from your family. You are away from your kids. You are away from your spouse as well. Um, so having a support system is huge. Um, having good relationships with your I'm significant other your children before and after when you come home is it's huge. And, and that, it affects and you. Communication yeah. when you're gone as well if you can. Yeah. So will that ever like do you ever look at that and see your kids growing up, of course, and be like, I don't know how long I got in this because I'm spending this time away from my kids. Would you ever be like, Man, I gotta I'm kinda looking at leaving this or like you just know that this is a sacrifice I have to sacrifice. Sacrifice. So there's two reasons. Um one, I absolutely love my job and I love um uh, being in the Air Force, mm. in, in the military in general, and then two, you do it for your family as well. So all the, you know, we had sports, right? Influential people in our life, coaches, friends, friends' parents, your teammates, um, and your family 
is the reason why you do this stuff. Um, because we understand that we are protecting, yeah, you know, a population, a country. That's mm. Why I do it? Yeah. What? Uh, oh, that was it. If there's anything else, yeah, you guys can keep going. That's it. But... Roll tide. Roll tide. Okay. Roll tide. Oh wait, pause. Oh, sorry. Say it again. Give it. Give it a nice Talk time. about roll tide. Roll tide. <laughs>